Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be doing something that I honestly don't think I have ever ever seen on YouTube before. Now I've said this phrase a couple of times in a couple of my videos, but this time I am 100% true, I'm 100% honest basically, I don't think I have ever seen this on YouTube before. I have seen a ton of troll bases, all that stuff, yes that is true, but I have not seen anyone show you guys the process of making a troll base. Now I'm not going to be doing this with music, I'm actually going to try and do this with commentary and I did choose the Town Hall 5 base because that means we don't really have too many balls and all that stuff. The Town Hall 10 base that would have been way too difficult, I just w I couldn't be thinking of uh, all of those things of how to make that troll base etc. So uh, I have not thought about how I'm going to create this troll base, I have not made it before, you just have to trust me on that, I can't really show you any proof, um, but I have not tested it out, I have not made it, I literally just, uh, 5 minutes ago I came up with this idea and so I just really want to do this so we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves into the edit layout now we're gonna choose this base right here because honestly I don't use this base at all now the first thing you want to do when you're building a troll base right is you want to think of the style of your troll base so if it's a troll base which you want to like make into a maze base you want to start off by deploying every single one of your walls so let's say you're making a uh, maze base let me just do that real quick so basically if you're making a maze base start dropping in all of your walls like so so just drop in a couple of walls like this and a couple like this now you always have to watch on the wall placement because you do want the buildings to fit in between so you need to keep that in mind because if you make the walls way too close and then you've built the entire maze base but you then can't fit any buildings that's going to be so annoying and this has happened to me before it actually happened to me yesterday when i was building a troll base which is going to be coming to the channel in just a couple of days so do not worry about that and i had to delete all of the walls because because I had made this mistake so always keep that in mind so if you do want to make a maze base just start dropping in all of your balls like this I don't know just make something like this for example and let's say you want the final target to be the town hall then make a larger compartment like this now you do want it to be symmetrical it just looks better in my opinion and then you put your town hall at the very end of the base and then you start putting like all of the defenses like I don't know the archer towers and all that stuff you start putting them on the uh, on the side of the town hall and also you want to put all of these traps at the town hall if that is what you want to make if you want to make a maze base you most likely want the final target to be the town hall now let's delete every single one of these i hope you did understand how i'm going on about the maze base now if you don't want to make a maze base but you want to make a base which is rather more interesting like a smiley base you obviously have to think of the design first you may have to word draw it even if you're not a good drawer you may want to draw it because it is going to be very difficult just making it up from your mind so let's say you want a smiley base you obviously don't want to make something like this so like let's say like this where people would say yes this is a smiley base because obviously yes this is a smiley base but you cannot make a troll base out of this now if you do want to see the troll base i have got on the smiley base then just go ahead and click on the annotation it's actually a collaboration with lewis the pen and uh, there were two troll bases one angry face and one smiley face so if you do want to check that out then just be sure to click on the annotation so i'm not going to walk you through the process of making a base like this but i'm going to walk you through another base which is rather interesting so basically there are other bases where what you want to do is you want the enemy to spawn all of the units in the center of the base so what you want to do in that case is you want to take a couple of walls and just put them in the center of your base i know this is not the center of my base that is because we've got all of these things where the clan castle is usually at and i don't really want to remove those structures but basically let's say this is your style start of the base so how do you continue you may ask so basically you can continue in so many ways you can either do it somehow like uh, let's say remove this wall and this wall and then you can go ahead and do something like this where you basically just go ahead and make it like it's sort of like a maze base i guess but not exactly so you basically it's like a snake base to be honest so all of the troops are going to start moving let's say the mortar is a troop so the troops are going to start moving into the center of the base they're going to go over here they're then going to go over here and then get themselves into 
into the center of the base or you can start spawning the troops in the center of the base so you start um, dropping the troops let's say the bomb is a troop you start dropping in all of your troops in the center of the base and the troops are going to start walking to the outside of the base you know what I mean so there are so many things you can do with a troll base you can make so many base designs there is another base design which I'm going to show you right now so basically the other base design is if you want to make again the exact same thing I was talking about earlier where you want the troops to spawn in from the center of the base you can do something like this but then instead of doing the base design I showed you a couple of moments ago you can go ahead and drop in your walls like so so let's say you want to do it like this okay let me just do it real fast gonna drop in a couple of those level 4 walls because I don't have any more level 5 walls and then okay let me delete this and add this oh god okay there we go okay so this is let's say you make this like times 3 you make another compartment like this I don't have enough walls because I'm only at town hall 5 but then the troops are going to start spawning in from the center of the base now you're going to start dropping in your defenses in the center of the base let's say like this so we've got all of these cannons like so we're also going to have a couple of teslas do we have any teslas no we don't have any teslas yet so I'm sorry about that I can't really do anything about that but if you're like a town hall 7 or 8 you're going to have so so many teslas traps all of that stuff so you can play around with that you can put a couple of traps in the center of the base for the case that the enemy does go ahead and actually drop uh, like I don't know 10 barbarians all of those barbarians are going to die by these four bombs so they are going to get annihilated and that is how you can make an awesome troll base now you can either leave it like this so that the enemy attacker can choose to spawn either from the center of the base or from the uh, side of the base basically you can see right here there's another hole where the build uh, hut is so uh, yeah they can either choose to go in from the center or from the sides or you can fill up the sides with a build assault or another defense that is if you have any other defenses and uh, or a couple of walls and then the enemy can only actually spawn from the center or the base as you can see so you can either do that or just do something else now there is i believe one more base design let me just think about it real quick and uh, is that no okay let me be right back once i've thought about it okay yeah so there is another base design which is sort of like the olympic games i guess so this is rather a difficult base to make because honestly i have never made a base like this because i just think it's way too difficult but what you want to do is you want to it's like it's on uh, spencer 23 dollars channel i think he makes the olympic games and it's so much fun trust me i've watched all of those videos with the olympic games and they were so much fun to watch but basically what you want to do is you want to drop in your army camps first so you want to drop them like so and actually it's not really that difficult to make it's rather difficult to actually get the timing to uh, get the troops to get to the other side of the base so what he did is he dropped in all of his army camps like this and then he started dropping in all of these walls so from one side to the other side of the base and then he dropped in the uh, other walls the rest of his walls let's drop in these walls like so oh god okay yes there we go let's bring them one row to here and uh, now the arm camps were actually on the other side of the base but that's fine we're just going to drop in the barracks on the other side of the base so he's dropped in the barracks on the other side of the base sorry about that rock right there i actually don't have enough gold to remove it right now but uh, yeah what he did is he basically drained up a wizard a balloon and let's say a dragon so he has to get the timing exactly correct for every single one of those troops to get out of the barracks at the exact same time now that is a really difficult t thing to do because it's actually very difficult to time it so I don't know how he did it but somehow he did do it and if you do manage to do it all of those three units are going to start walking to their army camps in these three lanes so I may try and do this you guys I don't really know and uh, yeah but basically this is really cool because you can see which one of the troops is the fastest and you can make sort of like a race it is so much fun you guys trust me on that it is absolutely amazing but if you don't want to do that all you can do is you can literally drop out the uh, barracks and you can just drop in all of those defenses like this one two three defenses and then do the exact same on the other lanes and then you can drop like a golem on each of the lanes or like a golem a giant and a balloon things that actually only target defenses and see which one of the troops is actually faster because you're gonna see the balloon is obviously going to target the lay the defenses of lane one the golem is going to to target the defenses of lane two and then the giant is going to target the defenses of lane three so that is what you want to do you guys again there are so so many options of troll bases and i'm actually going to make a troll base myself in just a couple of seconds once i have actually ended this video so i really guys i really really do hope you did understand something of this you did understand anything if you did understand something please be sure to let me know down below in the comment section again there are so many bases on you can actually make i'm not going to walk you 
through an entire troll base, so I'm not going to make a troll base for you guys, but I'll just show you the basics of making a troll base. Now, this is something, this is like a video idea, I just, I literally, I just came up with it, and I don't know if this is going to be fun for you guys, so just let me know down below in the comment section, that is, if you are still watching, did you enjoy this video, and would you like to see more of this sort of content, where I show you how to do things within Clash of Clans. So, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, again, let me know down below in the comment section if you would like to see more of these types of videos. If you haven't already, but you do enjoy my channel, then please be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily videos. With all that being said, guys, my name is, of course, Sasha, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.